G'day humans, Chris Stead here. Today I'm heading up there to the brand new Lumiere on 35 cocktail bar up on floor 35 of the Sofitel Darling Harbour in Sydney. And I'll take you on a tour and show you the amazing view, fantastic food and wonderful drinks. Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? No! Are we there yet? Yes! Dad, I'm hungry. So this is a premium cocktail bar that's just opened up in Sydney in April 2024. Now it's actually the club lounge for the Sopitel club members, uh, but uh, that kind of ends and finishes up in the early evening. And so from nine o'clock onwards now, it's gonna be this astounding and amazing cocktail bar. Now, I'm going to take you through a little bit of a tour so you can see what uh, to expect. You'll also be able to see the you know, stunning view. Uh, there's a live band that play later on. And in the, uh, if you're looking for aspect on the Sydney CBD, I don't know if it gets much better than this. It really is spectacular. It's a lovely space that they designed up here. And as we get deeper into this video, the, the food is exquisite and the cocktails are just incredibly inventive. Uh, in fact, if you hang around, I did an interview with the man behind the cocktails. He's got nine signature cocktails. He had three available on the night. So I've got him to take us through the ingredients and how he put it together and everything like that. And as you'll see, that really is very inventive. After that, you'll also hear from the general manager, Greg Brady, who spoke to the assembled group of media. Just running them through how they ended up deciding to build this cocktail bar and to add it to uh, the many features the Sopitel Darling Harbour City already has to offer. And obviously I think this is going to become quite a luxurious space for the high end of town to come and really, really make the most of what is the most beautiful city in the world, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to leave you just to enjoy the sights, the sounds, the foods, the tastes, and the drinks. Uh, good evening, welcome to Lumiere on 35. My name is Alessandro, so I'm the venue manager for Lumiere. And tonight we came up with three signature cocktails for the lounge party. So first of all, we have the Purple Rain over here. So the Purple Rain is a grapefruit chilo that we make it ourselves. So it's a combination of grapefruit zest, sugar and grey goose vodka. And then we use Campari, which is a orange bitter. And lastly, we use Italicus. So it's an Italian bergamot liqueur. We infuse those ingredients together with a butterfly pea. That's how it gives that purple color to it. And lastly, we just top it up with some uh, fever tree elderflower. So it's a nice, refreshing, uh, easy to drink kind of cocktail. Moving on, on to the next one. So it's our candle tea light. So the candle tea light, it's an Aberfeldy 12 year old scotch infused with jasmine tea. We have a ginger syrup, winter melon tea. We have this liquor called, called Mu Vetive Gris. So it pretty much gives this herbal notes and Nepali spice flavor to it. 
and just on the garnish, so we have uh, candy ginger. It's just a slices of ginger, cut it, and then we coat it into sugar, dehydrate a couple of hours. And then, so it's supposed to represent the wax of a candle. And lastly, we just put a little mint inside it, which is the wick of a candle. Lastly, over that, that side, it's a lighthouse. So it's a Two Doctors, which is a local New South Wales uh, whiskey, Two Doctors whiskey. Um, and then we have Amaro Averna in it. So it's an Italian bitter. And we have a Pedro Ximenez, which is a, a Spanish sherry that gives this nice raisin dates chocolate kind of notes to it. Combine it all together with chocolate bitters and whiskey bitters. So the barrel just over that side is actually the barrel that we use to age that cocktail. So we leave it for at least more than three months. Smooth it out a little bit of the cocktails and give some nice oaky flavors to the drink. And lastly, just on the garnish on top, it's a chocolate that's used, obviously the Two Doctors whiskey to it. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. My name is Brett Brady. I'm the general manager at Suffertel Domain Highway. Welcome to uh, the opening of Lumiere. We're very pleased and, uh, to have you here. Uh, can I say that um, I'm probably the most fortunate general manager in Australia, certainly Sydney. We've got, I work for a great company, a core. Love working for a core. I work for a wonderful French brand, Suffertel, uh, with a very inspirational leader in Paris called uh, Moore Bailey. And I work for probably the best hotel owner in this country, Dr. Jerry Schwartz. Jerry, I've worked with Jerry for over 20 years. He trusts us, he trusts me, he trusts the call and, and Sofitel to create the experiences in, uh, in his luxury property. Um, I've said to Jerry over the years, you know, we've given him ideas and he's, um, he's always supported us financially in creating these spaces and ideas. Last year we created a space in uh, level four, a brand new spa, our Sofitel spa is on level four. Today we're building um, cabanas, two-story cabanas on our pool deck. Um, and shortly we'll be commencing work on our, uh, on our uh, croissantry on level one attached to our um, lobby line. So but tonight we're opening, opening Lumiere on 35. This is also our club lounge for our club guests. So, uh, that it was unused, re unused space at nine o'clock at night. And it is the best place in Sydney. It is one of the best places you could have, ever go to for, for a beautiful evening. And so we, we talked to Jerry and we said, we want to create something up here, create experiences up here. And he supported us all the way. We talked about, we gave him our objective. We said, what we want to do, uh, Jerry, is create a wonderful experience, wonderful cocktail bar, and, if, and if, we, uh, if our champagne bar on level three is the entree to the hotel, we want this to be our dessert. We want this place uh, for people to come at nine o'clock at night, sit down, have a beautiful experience. Um, so that's what we want to create. Uh, I wonder why you think we created the name Lumiere. I mean, first of all, you just take a look out the window here and see the lights of the city. Also, our connection back to Paris and France Paris being the first uh, city in the world that had street lights and street lamps. So Villa Lumiere, uh, the city of lights was Paris. So we uh, started with the name Lumiere and then we worked on the product. So we wanted to be a world-class cocktail bed offered in Sydney. So we'll talk about the people in a minute. And we wanted to offer world-class desserts along with those cocktails. So the people we have, to support us there, we've, we've arranged and developed and assembled the best team to provide this experience. Because what we are really opening here is new experiences. We've got a bar over here that's brand new, but it's a piece of hardware. It's a beautiful bar, but what we're opening here is experiences. We're opening cocktail experiences with beautiful desserts, and the people we've assembled will bring that to life. We've got Alessandro over there behind the bar, who's our uh, bar manager. Alessandro is a native of, uh, of France. He's got a wonderfully rich background, um, Vietnamese and Italian, and he brings those that cultural uh, innovation and life to this, to this bar as well. We've also got Jason, who is our head bartender. I've never, I've never met a cocktail bartender with such innovation and creativity. As I've been through his creations, I haven't drunk them, by the way. 
and he's explaining it to me. But as I've been through his creations, I've been, I've been astounded by his engagement with, with, his, uh, with his craft. You've got to go over there, not all at once, but you've got to go over there and talk to Jason about those cocktails that he's going to make. And lastly, we've got Alex. I'm not too sure if Alex is here. Alex is here as well. Alex is our chef for, uh, for the experiences that you'll have up here, the uh, culinary experiences. Alex comes to us from Paris as well, where she worked in Michelin star restaurants and also the Palace Hotels in Paris as well. So we've got a wonderful team up here. I'm very proud to say I work with them. I'm very proud of what they've developed and what they're going to offer and the experiences that they're going to create up here. And I want to thank you for coming tonight.